Welcome to MobileSyrup.com, mobile news and reviews for Canadians. This is the HTC Touch Pro 2, soon to be launched with TELUS. And if you're looking for something that's an all-in-one device for your emails, your contacts, your calendar, your web, your music, your pictures, your videos, this is something that you should really consider. I'm not going to say it's the lightest device that's out there because it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it really can do the majority of things that you really want it to do. So right off the top, I'm going to take off the back. 1500 milliamp battery and you can see that when I take it off it's got a place for a sim card so you can really take this anywhere and use this it's a world edition phone that they have so good on them for bringing this out there plus on the right hand side you can see a place for your micro SD card it can hold 16 gigs here I'm just gonna put that back on there turn this on and in addition on the back as well, 3.2 megapixel camera that can take video. This is a mute button for your speaker phones. So essentially when you put this flat, you can activate the speaker phone area and we'll use this for your conferencing as well. The very bottom, it's got your 3.5 millimeter earphone jack, plus place to charge it up by USB. Increase and decrease in volume. And also on the top is your power button plus a standby button and right hand side you got nothing right there except for stylus keep forgetting to put that in there plus one of the major things that really has people talking here is the full five row QWERTY keyboard I mean it's a slide out device there the screen tilts which makes it really nice there are dedicated keys here for your messaging your text message your mail commas and periods plus quick access to the internet with this directional keys here to make everything so much more easier function key here at the very top so the keys are just massive, so if you're a person that really gets frustrated using a QWERTY keyboard device because the keyboard is really small, this is something that you'll immediately like because there is no more frustration with this, with the size of keys. So it really is nice. Plus, the overall feel is really great. The keys feel really nice. This feels really great in the hand too, so it's a great, great uh, device. 3.6 touch screen really really impressive and incredibly responsive it's got touch flow 3d you can see how quickly it goes through all the programs and applications there so one of the things that we'll go into here is the home screen we'll just start right off right there when you click on the world clock it brings up all the different areas that you do have that you've programmed in there these are the ones that we have and this automatically connects to your weather so we'll go back out of here and we'll go into the weather feature you can see that these are the areas that are in our world clock so it does connect to it in addition what is also impressive about this you can see that it has a next few days forecast right there as well when we go into our calendar feature, click on today, it brings up the weather that is in the area that you are have. So for example in Toronto, it's currently 7 degrees and this is what I have going on today. So you can see that if you are planning your day, you can plan it accordingly. So it makes it, in case it is raining, you can take an umbrella for example. So another great feature that they have right there. But let's go straight into the contacts area. You can see you can have your contacts here. What's nice about it, you can have quick access to calling someone, your text message, your emails, if you do have all the information in there accordingly. So some quick areas to make it really effective. Also, you can simply scroll through the contacts list just on the right-hand side there. Another great feature. Or another way to scroll through them is just simply flick your way through them. If you want to go back up to them, all you have to do is go into a certain contact can see all their information with the general area down on the very bottom here you can see that it's got the contact information any text messaging that you do have with them if does it in a threaded format so for example you can see that the conversation that I have going back and forth it shows it in a threaded format so it really is easy to do and typing on them is really a joke because it's so easy just simply the size of the keys and when you do send a text message it gives you a confirmation that the text message did send all I have to do is press dismiss so really easy to get things done here 
In addition, from the contact page, you can see that you can see more information and it brings up all the areas that you do have for this individual. But more importantly, when you go to edit the contacts or when you put a new contact in, you can link everything from your Facebook account. I won't do it for time purposes, but if you have this contact in your Facebook, everything can sync accordingly. So it really is a great feature right there. So for text messaging, I'll go back to the main menu area. For text messaging, as I said, when you do send a text messages, you can do it either way. You use a stylus and bring it right up to the QWERTY keyboard right here, or you can flip it open and use it the full QWERTY keyboard like it's meant to be on the actual slide out QWERTY keyboard. Plus it tilts up here to make it a little bit more easier. 130 is the maximum number of characters that you do have for your text messages. In addition, go back out there. You can see that as we're used to from the TouchFlow 3D, you can see you can do it from the portrait, but also what they've done right now is given you access to do it from the landscape as well. So if you do want to go somewhere, for example, press that button on the right hand side, you can see it just scrolls so much more easier as well. So for your mail, Windows Mobile 6.1. If you want to go into your mail settings, you can simply go through your text messages like this, so it's pretty good that you can do that. Scroll through them accordingly, or you can go straight into your inbox, and you can see that you can go all the way down there, so it's pretty good what you can do. When you do have one, all you have to do is simply tap on it, and it brings it right up. And easy to do, just simply res respond to it. Really easy to get things done there. In addition, if you are looking for one, you can simply type in and it brings up all the people you have in your contacts or, for example, any emails that are typed with whatever letters you do use. As I said, Windows Mobile 6.1. Let's keep going. For example, if we go into the stocks, not much different there. Brings up all the areas you do have, such as Google, for example, and tracking them. Here it shows it really nice in the portrait mode brings up everything accordingly however when you do flip it over you do have to simply scroll down to get the full view of it so anyway not that great big deal you can see the accelerometer is really responsive for the web for example just show you YouTube does Opera Mobile as well. It does have Wi-Fi. Just go into this one, not too sure what it's going to be. You tilt the screen to watch it more effectively. Increase, decrease your volume. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a very good helium. Shut up! Streams really quickly. Speakers on the back. It's a good shot. So you can see that the quality is really good there. We'll just stop that, go out of there. I'll show you what another web page does look like. Go into mobilesyrup.com. You can see it does portrait and landscape. And when it finishes loading, I'll show you how you can use the zoom area on the right hand side to zoom into the areas you do want. So you can see you can zoom in just by using the right hand side. It's really meant for your pictures or even Google Maps for example. So when you do have a story you do want, simply tap on it and go into it. You can view it either way, portrait or landscape. 
and you can still use the zoom area as well on the very bottom there so it makes it much more for an enjoyable experience we'll go out of here we'll continue showing you what else comes with for your pictures and videos as I said, you can simply scroll through these. And you can use the zoom feature as well when you do have one. You can zoom in and zoom out. Three point two megapixel camera can take videos. So it's pretty good what you can do here as well and you can do a slideshow just like we've seen in the past for your music as I said it's got a three and a half millimeter earphone jack speakers on the back decent speakers increase decrease in volume show this to you before so one of the things that we'll do is Go into the settings area. A couple of unique things about here. One is the customizable tabs. Here you can simply choose which ones you want to have and have them show up. So for example, if you want your messages up a bit more, you can just simply drag and drop it right to the top there. Or if you want your stocks a little bit more, you can simply drag and drop it right there. But if you don't want your mail, for example, you can see you can turn it on and turn it off accordingly. So it is a little bit more customizable to have a list more personalized aspect to this device. In addition, in the settings as well, as this does have Wi-Fi, you can go into the communication settings. You can see that Wi-Fi. I'm just going to go in there so you can sh see what it does have. And it brings up all the available networks that are around me. So that's pretty cool. As I said, In addition, we'll go back out of here. You can do Bluetooth. Also, you can change all sorts of sounds that you do have here. If you want your volume a little bit more, take it off silent. Just simply increase it accordingly. Also, one key aspect of this is that if you press the Start button, it'll bring up all your programs you can add your programs, it'll bring up all the programs that are in here calculator, contact, your games, Excel, mobile, Internet Explorer live search, messaging, mobile TV so let's we'll just go into the mobile TV, show you what TV does look like I'm just going to pull it to full screen so you can see it. So you can see it streams really quickly. It's got a good sound. Just going to get out of there and see what else we got here. In addition, Telus Navigator, so for all your GPS needs. Did you know that your mobile phone is equipped with Telus Navigator, a powerful GPS navigator? And also it looks like you got some Pocket Express there. So it's pretty cool what you can do here. This is the HTC Touch Pro 2. A little more information on mobilesyrup.com. I'm really liking it. Five row full QWERTY keyboard, dedicated keys tilt screen, 3.2 megapixel camera, take video, speakerphone, SIM card at the back, more information on mobilesyrup.com.